Okay, getting the power valve back in this uh, 2007 Gas Gas EC300 cylinder here. I'm doing the top end. Had uh, my local shop, Peak Motorsports, clean up the head for me. They did a great job. Got all the carbon out. It's so nice and smooth in there where these power valve assemblies go. Bead blasted the exhaust flange. Um, looks great. So, got two rods that um, uh, hold this power valve flapper. The long one goes in the front, the short one goes in the back, like so. And of course the long one holds it stationary. The, it's the rear one that moves up and down when the power valve um, is closed. When it opens, um, it rotates up, holds the power valve open. Cool. So we'll go ahead and put the long rod in the front. And if you get the long rod in the back, it just won't go together. So you'll figure it out pretty quick. Now, power valve flapper actually is um, sort of particular. This flat line or this um, line goes toward the top, and if you flip it over, the cutaway um, goes toward the bottom. Hopefully, that's showing up in this video here. Okay, and of course, the slot goes to the back too. So we got the long rod. Put the power valve up inside, and um, long rod goes in this um, threaded hole. I'm just pushing a little bit farther. Ah. Good, got lucky. Okay, cool. So there's the power valve closed. Hopefully this is showing up in the video. Sorry, the lighting's terrible. Power valve open, closed open. Right on. So that's indexed appropriately. All right. Let's see, this is the right side power valve assembly. And it's got a little um, spacer here. Um, bearing goes on. I soak these bearings for three or four days in two stroke oil, so they should be pretty happy. And um, a little collar goes on the outside. Okay, cool. And then the rod we can go ahead and put in and uh, slide this in on this side. We want to make sure we index the power valve uh, flapper right down the slot. Okay, and we'll check that before we go any further. And this will just slide in. That collar's just going to fall right off there. Okay, good. And seated. And now the power valve. Um, doesn't go up too high or down too high, so that rod's going right through the middle of it. And it's holding it in place. It's not falling down. Can't raise it up. Cool. And we can look down the other side and uh, see right here. Hopefully this is showing up. This GoPro is in a great close-up camera. Um, the rod goes right through the back of the power valve flapper. Cool. Right on. Now, as far as the left side power valve assembly goes, um, I had done that washer mod that one guy talked about in one of the videos where you put a washer right here below the bearings and it drives this in a little further, keeps the power valve from rattling side to side. And um, I was reassembling it a few minutes ago just as a trial and I actually bound the, uh, this went in too far and I bound it against the um, power valve flapper and the flapper wouldn't even move. So um, I'm a little worried about that happening again. So I'm probably just gonna leave it like it is and um, with the washer out. If it continues to rattle, I might put a little bit thinner washer in. Maybe that's what I'll do. This is the one I took out, it's not super thick. So maybe I'll find a thinner one. Um, hopefully get rid of some of that side-to-side -side play and rattle. Cool. Okay, so we're leaving the washer off that goes right there, putting the bearings on. And this will only go on one way. If you put the hole the opposite way, it just won't go in until you rotate it around and find the hole. And then, bing, it'll go in. Okay, these bearings are pretty tight. So it's taking more than a little bit of muscle. Just to get into seat. And I might use a little socket here over the outside just to give myself a little bit more pressure here and that's probably why because I drove them in too far these bearings I don't think should be that far so now the flapper is just like really really stuck there um, so we'll back that off be careful not to mar the sides there okay good Okay, that's power valve reassembly. Now, um, trying to get some light on here. If we use a little actuator arm, and we are the actuator, power valve actuator. Of course, the rod comes up through here, attaches to this, and when the engine spins faster, that rod gets pushed up. And this is power valve closed right here. You can see it from the inside. Um, that's closed. So this bolt that would normally be sticking out right here would be a stop for this little ear. And so this ear would rotate around and hit the bolt and stop right there, and that'll be power valve closed. As you raise the RPM, this rod pushes up, rotates this around. Um, at full RPM, 
um, it rotates around and it'll hit the stop there. And of course, power valve is way up inside and it's power valve open. So power valve closed and power valve open. Real um, basic assembly, real bulletproof. And uh, once it's adjusted right, it's pretty awesome. Okay, so nice, smooth operation. I can turn it from either side and um, can't turn it from that side because I can't grip it. I can turn it from this side. It's nice and smooth like butter. Wow, it clean, cleaning that up just made a huge difference. So sweet, very excited.